Okay, so here's the latest accessory to the spin pan. It's a float. So that way you can have it in any level of water and it stays perfectly level. So if you're in waist deep in the middle of the river, you can, you can shovel it right from in the middle of the river and it stays perfectly uh, level. Now, this is just a prototype and I couldn't get the new prototype ready before I went into camp. I'm in camp right now. Uh, I'm just after work. And so this one just shows you how it functions. It'll, it will kind of looks terrible. It just shows you how it functions. And right now I'm using three inch ABS plastic pipe. And my next experiment is gonna be uh, pool noodles. <laughs> It'll be cheaper and lighter and easy to pack around. So this will disassemble and so you can pack it nice and tight, except the ABS. But if you use pool noodles, then they're working better. So I'm just gonna show you how it works. Now, I don't have, I only got small boots on, gum boots on, so I can't go real deep right now. So I'm just doing this little pool, but uh, just to show you how it works. Okay. First thing I'm gonna do is, I got my screen here, I'm gonna put the plug in, I got it on a rope. Yeah, so you see that the spin pad itself sits just probably an inch under the water and I think floats. Again, spin it around, it floats. And uh, looks great. I don't have to use my foot bracket anymore. And I can just leave it there and walk away, fill up a bucket full of dirt if I wanted to, if I didn't want to use the screen uh, on the pan. I don't want to fill up a bucket of dirt elsewhere. It works great. So I'll put my screen back on here. You can see it's pretty crude. It's just to show you how it works. Get on there. <clears throat> yeah, so. There we go. actually a little shallow here. It's floating away on me. Okay, that's good. It'll stay right there. Okay, because it's my own welding job on this prototype, I had to improvise because, like I say, the new version that's basically going to be the production ready version that wasn't ready before I came into camp. So, the night before I came into camp, I was up to like 11 o'clock at night welding, just trying to make this old hack job, old prototype function for similar to the new design. I was just getting impatient. I wanted to get a video out, so um, yeah. So it doesn't spin as freely as it should. Yeah. So it's a little tougher for me to spin, but like I say, this is just a little hack job I threw together to show you the floating accessory accessory that is going to go with it. So yeah, let's go find some gold.
Well, there's two. Yeah, so anyway, you just repeat the process. And I had to hold the, uh, the pipe there because, like I say, it wasn't spinning as freely um, as it's supposed to. And I'm noticing that the three inch pipe kind of floats too well. Maybe I should drop it down to a two inch pipe experiment with that because my last design there was an inch and a half or inch and a quarter or something and it wasn't enough it didn't float enough um so i'll try two inch so it works too good <laughs> and uh yeah and then so if you're in deeper water away from shore what you'd probably have to do if the current is going along pretty good you'd have to anchor it you know tie some rope around a rock or to a a tree on the bank or something and then tie it on there so it doesn't float away on you and uh and the great thing about this is that with the um foot bracket which oh that's going to come included the foot bracket version what happens is you end up building up all the tailings kind of build up underneath it eh and then you kind of have to you know shovel it all away with this thing I mean, if you're in waist deep water you'll never run out of space and if you do if you're in real shallow water like here you just move move it along right float so you just move it a foot over or move it out deeper in the water so um that's another advantage of having the, the floating accessory version that'll come with it uh, but i'm not going to include the pipe that you have to buy it yourself you just have to go to the hardware store get your own abs pipe um and like i say i'm going to experiment with some, a pool noodle <laughs> uh you never know it might work so and it'd be lighter and you know not as bulky so yeah that's the design i got right now and the, the newer design which i'll have it in the next video because i got about five days left in camp then um, my other design my new design will be finished the guy who was doing the 3d printing he uh, broke apart on the in a 3d printer or something i just couldn't get ready in time before i came to camp so the next video and it'll come out sooner because my last video was like a month ago or longer so my next video besides this one it'll be pretty quick okay and i'll show you the new design which i'm pretty excited about as it's probably going to be the final design um yeah it's probably going to be the final design there might be a few minutiae changes to it um just to get my manufacturing costs down so that, i had to keep that in mind that's kind of one of the reasons why i went through all these changes so to simplify it design eh okay we got the regular pad <clears throat> pad underneath There is gold on this river, but I'm not too sure if there's gold here because this is my first time trying this one, one spot right here. Which is convenient, convenient for me because <clears throat> it's close to the truck. There's a little pole out there on the side of the road, an old mine road.
Just one tiny speck. Hey there. Focus. One tiny speck. Let's see if I can focus again. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, right there. And there's a bunch of black sands. Yeah. So I don't think I'll be. Maybe I'll do a couple more shovelfuls. I'll do another 10 more shovelfuls. Or 10 more spins, I should say. And then I'll move on. I only got like another hour left and I have to get back to camp. I'll just do a panoramic view here for you guys so you can see. Let me zoom. Okay, I'm zoomed out. And then let me just loosen this. There we go. Let's see if I can do a smooth panoramic here. Never mind, it's not working very well on this tripod. Whoops. But yeah, anyway, that's the river. I'll do uh, I'll do ten more spins on time lapse. Okay, right there, the center of the screen, if I get the focus. There's not much gold in here, but there's tons of black sand. Right there. Oh. Tons of black sands, but not much gold. Just not a very good spot. Uh, next time I get a, a day where I'm finished work early, and the weather's good. I'll come back out here. There's a, there is a better spot that I've been to before, but it's not so conveniently to the close to the road like this one is. Although this one's proving to be not very good right now. Um, yeah, so the brackets they just clip in place, and then they take them off. They just slip right off, and so it's easy for packing. You just assemble it. Pack is not quite tight and easy, so. And the foot plate is, I got it so it's not permanent, it's just bolted on. And I'll have some wing nuts, and so you can take that off really easily. And uh, yeah, so I'm right by a road right here. I'm going to an old mine, eh? And uh, someone just drove by. Yeah, anyway. I don't know, I guess I'll just film some more. I don't know if I'll, I'll add it into the video or not, but I'm just going to film some more just because and uh if this is the end of the video thanks for watching and you can go to spinpan.com to get your name on the pre-sale email list so i'm only have a limited supply because i'm fronting this all up with my own money so i have a limited supply a limited order i should say and um so if you want it get your name on the email list and you'll get notified uh of the pre-sale before i make it public so you'll get dibs on the limited stock. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you on the next spin pan video.